Hi, this is Emily Starr. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how to create an interactive whiteboard lesson in just three easy steps. So the first thing you do is open up your interactive whiteboard software. I'm choosing to use Mimeo Notebook, but you can use Smartboard, Promethean, Mnemonics, eInstruction, whatever interactive whiteboard software you have, and then navigate to the resource that you would like to use in your lesson. Here I've chosen a virtual pin board because my lesson is going to be focusing on two-dimensional shapes. Once you've navigated to your chosen resource, use your interactive whiteboard tool that allows you to take a screen capture or a screen clipping. In this case, with the Mimeo Notebook software, it's this little camera icon. Once I click that icon, it's going to allow me to select an area of the screen and what I'm doing is just taking a picture or a snapshot of what that resource looks like. So really it's just taking a photograph and it automatically drops that photograph into my interactive whiteboard software. The reason we've taken this photograph and dropped it into our interactive whiteboard software is so when I get to this point in my lesson, this photograph is going to refresh my memory of the website that we're going to go to and the resource that we're going to use. Step two is to hyperlink our screen capture to the actual online resource. And we do that by going back to our browser and navigating to the online resource we chose and highlighting that web address, copying that web address, that's control C on a PC or command C on a Mac, and then going back to the screen capture in our interactive whiteboard software. We're going to right click on that screen capture and select hyperlink and then use control V on a PC or command V on a Mac to paste in that web address and click OK. And now when we navigate to this page in our interactive whiteboard software, we can see what the web resource was that we chose and then click on that web resource and it will take us straight to our online resource so we're ready to teach our lesson. You can repeat those three steps of finding an interactive online resource, taking a screen capture, and hyperlinking a screen capture to create a series of online resources hyperlinked in your interactive whiteboard software to create an entire lesson. This is a lesson I created to work on 2D shapes with my students. The first activity was an introductory activity where we reviewed the attributes of different shapes. Then I moved on in my interactive whiteboard software to my next resource where we discussed the different attributes of shapes back to my interactive whiteboard software for the final two activities where we practiced identifying shapes.